The members of Clark County Council held the second of three listening sessions on systemic racism last night. Nearly 20 people signed up to share their personal experiences here in Clark County. When I experienced racism on a personal level from colleagues or I had encounters with people who knew my colleagues, when they asked me insulting things like, oh, what do you do? Are you an aide? Rather than make the accurate assumption that I am an educator and I also hold two master's degrees, I find myself walking away frustrated, um, but not giving myself permission to defend myself. And what has greeted me for several years when I enter the fairgrounds, a larger than life Confederate flag hoisted high above the crowds for all to see that worshiped symbol and celebration of anti-black racism, slavery, violence, oppression, tyranny, Jim Crow, and subjugation. Black folks patronize the fair, but you'd be hard pressed to see any of us employed by this major county attraction. And when you look at the fair's marketing materials, it's clear that the fair isn't being marketed to black and brown people like me. My green money pays for this flagship county event, but my brown face is rendered invisible. Clark County Council will hold a third listening session on August 26. That one will not be recorded or broadcast to the public in order to protect the privacy of people who otherwise might be reluctant to share their stories. Notes will be taken and released to the public. If you wish to sign up to speak, you can find a link to do so in our story at clarkcountytoday.com.